This video shows the basic usage of SLDP player for Android. Being on main screen, press plus button to add a new connection. Here you can set up the name for your connection for further usage. Then you can specify the URL of your connection. The source type for HTTP should be set to auto unless you are not sure about the manifest name of your URL. For SLDP offset, check the article in the description. The buffering can be used by itself or it can be used as a base for synchronized playback. To learn more about synchronized playback, check the article in the description. If you use SLDP for internet radio and it has ABR in it, you can define which bitrate will be used as default. The remaining fields are required for SRT playback. SRT passphrase and PBK LAN can be used for additional protection. SRT latency and max BW can be used in various scenarios. Check the article in the description. Stream ID can be used in case if your source supports this feature of SRT. Once you click save, you will get back to connections list where you can launch your video. That's it. Follow the links in the description to find out more about SLDP player and its functionality.